Do you have any feeling below your belly button? No. Where'd you get hit? there. Just weeks before Rose High School's opening game, squeeze over here real hard, a player is down on the field. Just relax. No shortness of breath, rope. Gotcha. This is a time for split-second decision-making. So we're going to roll to my right. Let's take the mask off. This time, it's only a drill. And then I would be talking to parents, coaches. It's scary for the athletes because it becomes real. And it's a drill now, but this could be uh, something that you actually apply to, to real life. I have a scenario for the athletic trainers. Sharon Rogers is a key player in Greenville's brand new sports medicine team. This is Anthony Rook. Uh, he's got an open tip fit fracture. When Jaquan Waller was critically injured on this field in 2008, nothing like this existed there was no athletic trainer spotting injuries no ems at the ready no plan and no budget to pay for anything school superintendent beverly reed and her team came up with an innovative solution we live in this little town with all kinds of experts um, we don't need to pretend we know what we're doing if we don't we need to bring folks in and say what what would make this what would make this better. Greenville is, after all, a place Sports Illustrated called Sports Town, USA. Home to East Carolina University's championship ECU Pirates and their renowned sports medicine program. And the only trauma center east of Raleigh, North Carolina. But in a small rural town scrapped for cash, Putting everything together was a tall order. Rogers, an assistant professor at ECU, was the first on board to tackle the biggest challenge, putting athletic trainers on every field in the county. Would you drop a child off at a pool or an ocean that did not have a lifeguard? And if the answer is no, then you wouldn't drop a child off at a football practice or a football game without an athletic trainer. If there's high schools around the country that have football programs, but don't have athletic trainers, and they said, look, you know, let's, uh, we, we can't afford it. What would you say to them? It's a matter of deciding between new uniforms and an athletic trainer, or a new ice machine and an athletic trainer. I do believe even in the most cash-strapped situations, there can be a resolution. For a novel solution? I told you, you do not have a bye today. You do not practice smiles. Put a layer of crap. Hire ECU graduate students, all certified athletic trainers, who earn one-third the salary of a veteran. Good. Cheeks. By the cheeks. 24-year-old Becky Grant is the first trainer assigned to Rose. When players listen to you, I mean, if you, you have to make that tough call yep. sometimes. You have to yep. take a player's yep. comments. Yep. Um, and it is, it is tough because, you know, we're not here to keep players out. That, a lot of the players, they're like, oh, Miss Becky, she's going to, you know, she's going to keep me out. Don't go to her. And I'm like, no, I'm here to keep you safe. She does have symptoms of a concussion, so my protocol is... The plan, once Becky diagnoses a head injury, she contacts Dr. Brock Nicely. The sports medicine team does not function without an athletic trainer. It doesn't function without a sports medicine doctor. My trainer tells me it can't go, it can't go. Your ligaments feel good. You might have sprained your MCL, but none of it's left. Head coach Todd Light, still haunted by Jaquan's death, I'll let coach know. says Becky and Brock are the bosses when there's an injury on the field. I'm glad I got a trainer who's going to take control of that. That's nothing I, I ever wanted anyway. You know, I don't want to make that decision. You can't do any physical activity. No running, no lifting weights, no football practice. You got to let your brain rest. But even with this brand new medical team, keeping the kids off the field is the next huge obstacle to tackle. They're acting just like the NFL guys when, when they're asked, are you okay? And they're saying, heck yeah, I'm ready to go. Yeah, I wasn't going to tell anyone I was hurt. I'm going to play until I can't play, which is a surprise. Yeah. And it's not just former Rose High School quarterback A.J. Flores. More than half of all high school athletes hide their injuries from medical personnel. But now, a new computer test is designed to catch those players in that line. Last year. We know that there was kids that were dishonest with us. They'll show you a sequence of words that they're going to want you to remember. This season, varsity athletes must take a preseason cognitive computer test. It gives the medical team a baseline of each player's brain function. Then, if they have a head injury, the player is retested. If they don't pass, they don't play.
And trust me, this test was tough. It says later in the session, repeat this test, so at some point it comes back. Yes. Okay. And that one's a little difficult back there. Hunter Smith. On July 29th, the entire varsity squad files into the library for test time. That's linebacker Gray Dixon. He's a senior, number 34. How was that exam for you? It's pretty challenging. Hey, I, I took it too. I found it pretty yeah. challenging as well. Gray will do anything to play this season. No lifting, no physical activity. Last year, he was blindsided and concussed on kickoff. It was a season-ending injury. I felt dizzy. I had headaches for like, probably like six weeks almost. Football has always been Gray's dream. He watched his brother win a state championship in 2007. But he also saw his brother suffer when his friend and teammate, Jaquan Waller, died in 2008. Did anyone think after that happened to Jaquan that maybe, you know, this is just a dangerous game? I mean, this is too dangerous. I mean, I'm not sure, really. It's dangerous. Everything's dangerous, really. I was, of course, a parent that feared it could happen again. And I said, it's okay if you do not play. If you don't want to play, it's fine. Ray's mother, Pam, didn't have the heart to keep her son out of the sport he so loved. I didn't want to stop my senior year. That's my biggest year. So no questions asked. I was going to play. They about to get some! So Bray is ready. The medical team is ready. And they're both about to be put to the test. 